Ready? I started losing my hair when I was like 13, 14. Wow, yeah. It was only noticeable because I guess compared to everyone else's hair, mine was really thin. Other people could do things with their hair that I couldn't. I'd go into the supermarket and pick up like all the shampoos, all like the over-the-counter things that I could get. Obviously, you try it when nobody's around because you don't want anyone to know. I was basically researching all the different things I could do and then you know I looked into hair transplants the thing for me was that I saw so many of the horror stories and because my job is so like looking at people's hairlines and not in in hairlines into wigs the first thing I see is somebody's hairline if I wasn't happy with it I would see it straight away and that was something that would definitely play on my mind that I kind of ruled out you know some people were like absolutely go for it but I was like Actually, in how many years' time am I going to regret it? I started on Propecia a couple of years ago. Right. And started taking all that. And I must have taken it for probably about a year till I literally just stopped because the side effects I found were really rough. Yeah. I like to be in control of my body. I was just feeling rough and I didn't feel right. And yeah. I was aware that it was probably that because that was the only change I had at the time. Once I cut that out, I realised actually it was that that was doing it to me. So then I looked into alternatives and I found all like these hair system companies. Obviously you look through so many because they're all over the internet. I remember going to like different places to like meet with these uh, owners. Once like I sat in a consultation, it was like, well, you come here for this. And then if you want some maintenance done, that you probably can't do yourself, then you should, you know, come back. So I was kind of like dead set. I was like, I'm going to go for it. I found a company in London. I went and had a consultation on it, did the fit in. Because of my type of hair, you're looking at like six, seven hundred pounds. Refitting, that's another, I think I got charged about 70, 80 pounds. Initially, they like glued it to my head. Because I'm so active gym wise, was just getting sweaty and itchy so that was the first problem I guess I had with them I mean I was thrilled when I first got it done yeah I was happy with it and I was literally like this is the best thing since I spread like I was absolutely buzzing um I had more hair than I think I ever had and I thought it looked great and all my friends and family said it looked great so I was well happy a lot of people who know me know it's not my real hair right so I was like, I'll just do fun things, you know, but for different lengths and different I colours. Try try different styles and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Had um, fun with it. Yeah. I had a problem in the salon one day where they took the hair system off and tried to remove all the glue from my head. They had just been recommended by the supplier, like a remover. Uh, they applied that to my head without like patch testing it or anything. Oh, I know where this is going. Yeah burnt the whole of my head and they were like no 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 it's all fine like it's it's supposed to feel like that um it's because it's citrus it's removing all the glue blah 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 and then I literally looked in the mirror and my head had gone bright red and it hurt and then I lit I remember sitting there thinking I've got a shaved head all the way down the middle yeah just I'm- like this right Real- and I was like what do I do because you're now telling me that I've got to let it cool and to heal or like cool down. But then I'm not going to walk down the street. The only option was to put it back on. My head was literally like raw underneath. So then that's when I was kind of like, oh, I, I don't know if this is worth it. Yeah. So then I changed from the glue to tape instead. The moment I went to the gym, that's when I started getting reactions to the tapes. And my head was just kind of blistering. I think that got me to the point where I was like, is this worth it anymore? I went home for Christmas this year and I just didn't wear the hair system. I tried to grow out like all the hair I had underneath. Being at home without the hair system on, my life was just so much easier. There's no maintenance, there's no thinking about it at all. Before I got the hair system, I thought, oh, this is gonna make me less paranoid about my hair. Um, It's gonna make me feel great. When actually looking at it, I was more paranoid with the hair system on. I messaged um, the hairdresser on Instagram that I knew. I'm thinking of just like getting rid of it. He was like, if you want to start slow, like don't go full on straight in. 
um, if you don't feel ready for it. And then he suggested the idea of taking it really short and then bleaching it, which is what I've done now. Yeah. Um, because then you get used to the idea of not seeing it. Yeah. Because it is so pale now, you can barely see it. Gradually, what I've been doing is like taking it shorter. And then eventually, I'll just, like, I know in my head it's coming up. I know it's going to happen, which I'm actually quite excited for to see. For me personally, I've been on like a big gym journey. Yeah, where, which uh, really helps. I talk about that a lot, actually. That helps so much with my mental health. I was like, I'm so much happier with my body now. I want to feel the way I do about my hair. Right. Ready? I mean, if you want, I can properly, like, I can coil and then, like, 